for the first time in a long time, there is a chance for real peace in the Middle East because you could never talk about genuine peace in the Middle East if it didn't include a legitimate Palestinian state. An officer with the U.S. Marine Corps has revealed some shocking truths about the war in Israel. What exactly did he say about the deep-rooted conflicts plaguing this region? Are there hidden aspects of the conflict that the world is not yet aware of? The U.S. Marine Corps officer, namely Scott Ritter, will share the shocking truth with you, so brace yourselves and stay tuned. Life in Gaza Trapped in what Human Rights Watch calls an open-air prison, approximately 2 million Palestinians reside in Gaza. Their movements are heavily restricted by Israel, turning travel into a rare commodity that is only granted in certain situations, such as those related to urgent medical necessities. Meanwhile, Israelis and foreigners move freely. Land border crossings into Gaza have gradually closed over the years, leaving only one accessible with Israeli-approved permits. Living in poverty is a reality for over 65% in Gaza, due in part to Egypt's irregular closures of the border, leading to staggering unemployment rates of over 40%. Officer Scott Ritter highlights that Gaza's youth suffer mentally from the blockade's impact. Plus, a UN report notes an uptick in mental health issues, including depression, due to constant exposure to violence. Human Rights Watch emphasizes the profound impact, stating, Barring Palestinians in Gaza from moving freely within their homeland stunts lives and underscores the cruel reality of apartheid and persecution for millions of Palestinians. Gaza is a place where confinement extends beyond physical borders, stifling lives and potential. Israel's Security Setback Utilizing tactical bulldozers, hang gliders, and motorbikes, Hamas launched a brazen incursion on October 7, 2023. Israel, caught off guard despite intelligence reports, has come under fire, also by Officer Scott Ritter, for both failing to anticipate the assault and for a delayed response from their military forces, resulting in widespread criticism of the intelligence community and the Israel Defense Forces, or IDF. In the aftermath of this meticulously planned attack, Israel has responded with targeted bombings and possible ground invasions to address the ongoing security concerns and uncertainty about the effectiveness of their security measures. Israel's Security Wake-Up Call Now let's peel back the layers and delve into the aftermath of this security crisis. Hindsight is a remarkable teacher revealing that the Israeli security establishment may have missed the mark on several crucial fronts, from underestimating Hamas's capabilities and intentions to over-reliance on technology and warfare, the vulnerabilities are laid bare. The failure extends to intelligence analysis, where available information on Hamas escalated activities was sometimes consciously overlooked. Even though Hamas had been training on paragliders and planning complex attacks for years, the security establishment seemed to dismiss the threat, lulled into complacency by a period of relative calm with Hamas. As the Israeli security establishment grapples with the immediate challenge of countering Hamas and potential ground operations in Gaza, a crucial reckoning awaits. The post-conflict analysis will undoubtedly scrutinize what went wrong, raising questions about whether Israel's heavy reliance on technology contributed to its strategic blindside. Officer Scott Ritter implies that this was a cautionary lesson for intelligence establishments worldwide, a stark reminder that overconfidence in military and technology superiority can breed complacency and oversight. The challenge lies in fostering intelligence innovation, a key element in navigating the complexities of modern warfare and understanding the ever-evolving tactics of adversaries. Israel's Role in the Rise of Hamas in the complex landscape of geopolitics, Israel's role in inadvertently contributing to the rise of Hamas is a nuanced story. Consider this. Israel, strategically maneuvering, unknowingly lays the groundwork for the emergence of a formidable adversary. Let's delve into the journey of how a group initially seen as a strategic move transforms into a force challenging its very originator. 
Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, a paraplegic cleric, plays a dual role. Recognized by Israel as a charity worker and unbeknownst to them, the architect behind what would evolve into Hamas. Fast forward to a critical moment. Yassin's demise in an Israeli airstrike. The once muted ally now transforms into a powerful force, prompting us to question whether Israel inadvertently unleashed a force rising from its own actions. The complexity heightens as clashes between the Secular Palestinian Liberation Organization, or PLO, and the Islamist Hamas unfold. Israeli military officials, strategically positioned, exploit Palestinian infighting, hoping for a distraction from their own challenges. Imagine a scenario where unintended alliances turn into bitter rivalries, shaping the geopolitical landscape. Did you know that Brigadier General Yitzhak Segev has admitted to financing Hamas with Israeli taxpayers' money? It's true, but the situation becomes more complicated, and we're left to contemplate the unforeseen consequences of this move. PLO versus Hamas Enter the realm of Palestinian politics, where the conflicts between the secular Palestine Liberation Organization and the Islamist Hamas unfolds. Visualize a complex power struggle as these two ideological forces compete for influence. The clash between the PLO and Hamas becomes a high-stakes affair, where each strategic move has the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape. As we observe this intense clash of ideologies and power struggles, it mirrors the unpredictable twists and turns of real-world politics. The lingering question is whether this orchestrated chaos is part of a grand design or if the unintended consequences of this conflict will redefine the course of history. The stage is set and the ongoing geopolitical maneuvering continues to unfold in this dynamic narrative. Is there a chance for peace? The complexity of the geopolitical landscape is underscored by diplomatic maneuvers from leaders like Benjamin Netanyahu as the region faces the possibility of conflict between Israel and Iran. Amid this turmoil, many wonder if peace is attainable. The reverberations of the intense clash between the PLO and Hamas can still be felt. Despite the exchange of accusations and power plays, the possibility of peace remains a crucial consideration. The aftermath of the clashes could serve as a catalyst for dialogue prompting leaders to re-evaluate their strategies and prioritize diplomatic solutions over military confrontation. The international community's role becomes pivotal in fostering an environment conducive to peace talks. Navigating a fragile tightrope, Joe Biden aims to deter aggression with military assets while keeping diplomatic channels open to address the tension's root causes. His challenge is to protect America's interests while avoiding a broader conflict. Fostering dialogue, cooperation, and compromise is crucial for the pursuit of peace, which serves as both a necessity and a beacon of hope in this ever-changing narrative. The leaders, diplomatic envoys, and international community must recognize the urgency and de-escalate tensions to create an environment that cultivates such values. Despite the complexities of the situation, the pursuit of peace must be sought after, however slight the chances may be, to prevent the region from being consumed by the fires of conflict. U.S. Strategies in the Middle East Conflict Now, our U.S. Marine Corps officer touched on the idea that contemplating various scenarios is a necessity in the rapidly evolving Israel-Hamas war, as the U.S. orchestrates a strategic approach in the Middle East. The White House has taken proactive measures in anticipation of escalations, recognizing the high-stakes game of international relations. Addressing the media, Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby emphasized the consideration of potential evacuations, among other contingencies. Imagine a scenario in which the White House provides Israel with judicious advice to delay a ground invasion of Gaza. Why do you ask? It's all part of a grander scheme to secure the freedoms of hostages held captive from the October 7th strike on Hamas land. 
Things get even more complicated when President Joe Biden has a momentous call with Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. This chat, the initial exchange since the Hamas strike on Israel, revolves around measures to stem the escalation of the conflict. For the broader plans of the United States for the Middle East, one can't help but wonder, amidst this ongoing geopolitical issue, how will the diplomatic maneuvers, the interweaving of conflicting interests, and the pursuit of stability unfold in the coming acts of this complex geopolitical narrative? Only time will tell as a sensitive situation unfolds in the heart of the Middle East as we speak. What lies ahead? As the dust settles on the battlegrounds, the world watches with bated breath, pondering the uncertain path that lies ahead in the Middle East conflict. The geopolitical stage, once dominated by the intense clash between PLO and Hamas, has now evolved into a complex narrative where Israel and Iran navigate on the edge of confrontation. A new opening has emerged in the aftermath of the conflict with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu taking the lead in redefining the narrative. While the aftermath of the PLO-Hamas conflict is still lingering, the focus has now shifted to a potentially more dangerous conflict between Israel and Iran. In this strategic move, Netanyahu, now a leader during wartime, navigates the diplomatic landscape, accusing Iran of orchestrating Hamas's operations. However, it's essential to note that things may not be as they appear, and the unfolding geopolitical developments are as complex as any real-world scenario devoid of Hollywood-style drama. Political motivations, power plays, and unforeseen consequences add layers to the narrative. Now, we would really like to hear your opinion on the entire conflict in the Middle East. What would be a feasible solution at this stage? Do you think the current tensions will continue to escalate? Let us know in the comments below. How October 7th changed the Middle East forever. All in all, October 7th marked a sea of change in the landscape of the Middle East. A day that will go down in history as a pivotal moment that changed the fate of the region. The PLO Hamas conflict acted as a catalyst, setting off a chain reaction of events that had repercussions far beyond the battlefield and revealed a complex narrative centered on Israel, Iran, and the United States. The date not only witnessed fierce confrontations between Palestinian factions, but also became a turning point for leaders to seize the opportunity to redefine their roles. What's certain, as per Officer Scott Ritter, is that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took the role of leader during the war and shifted the narrative toward a potentially catastrophic confrontation with Israel and Iran. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you will be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more informative educational content. Hit that bell icon so you can receive a notification every time we post a new video. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.